Morning, YouTube. It is 5.04 in the morning. Uh, hope you're doing all right. Today's topic is uh, the effects of language on the brain. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So uh, before we get started, I got to say, uh, this is a spoiler alert. If uh, I'm going to be talking about the movie Arrival, if you haven't watched it and don't want a spoiler, then you might as well turn off this episode now. Um, if you have watched it, or if you're not going to watch it and you don't care about the spoiler, then continue watching. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, enough time? Have I given you enough time to turn it off if you don't want to hear this? So in Arrival, one of, the, one of the story themes, not the main story theme, but one of the story themes of Arrival is that, uh, so Arrival is this movie about aliens coming to Earth um, to try and figure out what the aliens are saying. They, they bring a, a, a linguist, one of, the, one of the more famous linguists on the planet, um, to to the to the alien site to try and figure out what the aliens are saying uh, and as this person learns the alien language um, she starts experiencing uh, some strange developments so um, by learning their language which is um, sort of a circular language so when they're talking, you can't understand anything they're saying. Um, and when they, when they're writing their language, um, I forget the name of it, but their language is such that looking at the symbols tells you nothing about what uh, they're verbally saying. And so they, you know, she, she never really understands what they're saying. I don't think except maybe later on in the movie. Um, but... <sighs> oh, by, learning, by learning their written language, uh, slowly over time she, she learns the, the, the patterns and the, um, the symbols and, and, what, and what the written language means. And then by learning that, she, she starts experiencing... Um, uh, okay, so here's a spoiler. So... Be, because because the alien language is a circular language, the story goes that um, that allows the alien race to see into the, to experience into the future and experience into the past, um, which is kind of it's kind of trippy. It it kind of makes the, the movie. It's a cool concept, uh, and again, it it facilitates the movie. It's not the main theme, but it is a sub theme. And so this linguist, by learning this language, starts to experience into the future and experience into the past. And so uh, it got me thinking, I, I don't know that that's, you know, I'm not sure how that's possible. Uh, we are three-dimensional beings that experience the fourth dimension sequentially. I don't know that you can get us to experience into the future and experience into the past. Uh, basically travel that fourth dimension back and forth. I don't know the, that a, learning a certain language would, would get us to do that. But, um, you know, we, we have a bunch of languages here on the planet, and uh, I kind of wonder, like I said, it got me to thinking, I wonder if certain languages have certain effects on how that individual thinks. Uh, so we're speaking English right now. Uh, I also know uh, Chinese, Mandarin, as well as uh, Taiwan dialect, um, because of my mom. And and I'm not a linguist, nor am I a behavioralist or a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So I <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of wonder if by you know by knowing uh, these other languages, maybe I think differently than. Uh, the you know the American that knows English and doesn't know 
other languages or, you know, like a European or an African or I, I don't know what, you know. I wonder if a study has ever been done um, to see what those effects might be. Um, I, you know, when I think, there are times when I think in images as opposed to thinking in words. And then there are other times where it's clear that I'm, I'm thinking in English or I'm thinking in Chinese or, uh, you know. But again, I, I don't know what those effects are. And it'd be interesting to, to see, uh, like, you know, does uh does knowing uh asian languages which to me feels like are shorter choppier uh you know does, does that does that mean that i think along those lines along those methods and whereas if you know like a like maybe one of the romantic languages um french or spanish if you know those languages and utilize those languages long enough over time, does that get your mind to, to think along certain lines that way? Yeah. So again, just got me thinking, um, what, what are these effects on language? Because I, I think, I actually think there is an effect. I just don't know what that effect is. Um, you know, in the past I've thought about, well, what if you could take a brain out of the skull, uh, and stick it in a jar and, and plug the internet into it, how does that brain develop? Well, I think the brain operates in such a way that if you remove a physical body, the brain deteriorates. I think the brain uh, not only thrives on thought process, but also thrives on uh, controlling a physical body. And without that, I think you take a, a lot of the major function of the brain out of that. And so just like that physical connection allows for brain development. I think that certain languages also allow for brain development. I just, again, I just, I don't know what that is. So maybe someone out there can tell me, <laughs> uh, put a comment below. I'll read them. Uh, I think it's interesting. Maybe, maybe a study has been done. I just don't know about it, but, uh, like I said, uh, I was thinking about that. I, I didn't just see the movie recently. I actually saw that movie several months ago, maybe even last year sometime, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, you know, I've been thinking about it slowly or it, it would be cool to, to be able to, to traverse that, that, uh, timeline, uh, that fourth dimension into the future and into the past. It'd be weird. I think that I'd have trouble. Um, I kind of wonder if humans would have trouble jumping back and forth in time. Um, and I'm not even sure that uh, physics or science would allow that. So, interesting stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> I, I gotta head off to work um, because I haven't been there yet because I don't traverse time. <laughs> and you gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Rubber ducky, you're the one.